Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here and today I'm bringing you some Battlefield 1 gameplay. And this is actually only my second game of playing Battlefield 1. But watch until the end, you know, we gotta represent up here. But first things first, let's talk about the minimap. The minimap is very important in this game as it is in Call of Duty as well. You can also choose various loadouts. I'm using an assault loadout here and I'm selecting where I want to spawn in. So watch the bottom left of the screen. That's where the minimap is, that circular map you're seeing. I'm actually playing a game mode called Conquest. So Conquest is like Domination in Call of Duty where you have to capture the flags and keep it as long as possible whilst killing the enemies and ensuring that you get the most points at the end of the game. And look at the bottom left of the screen, the minimap. You can see various letters, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot and so on. Those are the zones you want to capture or the flags you want to capture. And you do so by stepping into the zone and you'll see the diamond pattern change in color to your color. It will also give you a text indication on the screen when you're capturing it. See, look at it. Boom, get shitted on boy. And if the enemy is taking a flag you previously captured or your teammates previously captured, it'll start blinking on the minimap so it'll give you a good heads up of when the enemy is actually attacking that point. Also the yellow solid dot on your minimap in the center of the minimap is yourself. And the white quadrant that's emanating from it is where you're looking at. So it's your 12 o'clock. You can also tell where the horses are on the minimap by checking for a horseshoe icon. So if you see a grey horseshoe icon on the minimap, there's a horse wrong and you can get it. It's the same for the vehicles on the map. So just check your minimap and you'll see vehicular icons grey just like the horseshoe. So you just head to it and get your vehicle and hop on in and destroy them. The minimap also acts as a compass so you can see north, south, east and west. So you can just, if you're given call outs and you're playing in a squad, and I do recommend playing in a squad but this is solo gameplay right here. You can give easy call outs and give good intel and locations. Now look at the top middle of your screen and you can see the scores. So my score from my team is 76 and the enemy team is 49. So the higher the score, the better. And you can also see which flags we have, which conquest points we captured, and which ones we're losing. And in the bottom right, it tells you how much ammo you have left, and if you have a grenade or not. Now this information is very important, especially if you're a Call of Duty player, uh, you're coming in to play Battlefield 1. Firstly, the minimap. The minimap does not show the enemy when they shoot their guns. Whether they have an unsuppressed gun or suppressed gun, it does not indicate their position on the map. So you won't see no red dot on the map. Whereas in previous Battlefield games, you could see the enemy position when they fired an unsuppressed weapon on the minimap. So what do I think about that? Well, I think the enemy should show up on the minimap if they fire an unsuppressed weapon. Because it will reduce camping. Because right now, if you can fire a gun without even being seen on the minimap, you can easily hide in buildings or in bushes or you know in weird places and destroy the enemies. But on the flip side, you know it can be more realistic this way according to the time as well. So we're just gonna adapt to it like good players. And I see this armored vehicle parked up here, I was like alright I'm getting in for sure. I don't need nobody in the car with me. We can do this on our own right here, check it out. So I hot wired the car, I got the gun ready, and I'm just shooting. Come on boys, don't try and take C flag, what's wrong with them? What is wrong with them? I'm hunting the enemies, look at this. I'm checking for any snipers or any people hiding in the buildings. I'm shooting out that car as well, where are you going? Don't, oh, you're dead man. You jumped out of the car with me shooting at you, hell no. So I'm just looking for enemies right here and just firing the gun, suppressing them as well. And um, shooting at anything that's moving including my teammates. You guys gotta remember this is only my second game of playing the beta. So I'm just learning the maps, learning the spawns, the potential movement and taking full advantage of a machine gun in a car. So look my teammates show up to the party now. What is what you shooting at? Come on boy let me see. I'll blast them for you with this big ass machine gun. Oh shit the car is moving now. I guess one of them hopped in. Alright let's do this. Let's do some drive-bys here. Come on let's do this boy. Let's capture this first. Alright, so we captured C and we're moving on now. 
We're moving on. We're looking for some enemies as well. Look at this. The graphics are actually quite nice on the PS4 in this game. Very nice to look at. And it plays well as well. The controls need to be a little more smoother though. When you're moving around your character. When you're, you're aiming you know, to the left or to the right. You can tell it's not as smooth. So we're heading to take a flag. And um, you can see straight ahead the F flag. And you can see the capture points we're getting. And you, know, you don't even have to come out of vehicle to capture the points. You can just stay inside a vehicle and protect yourself. And I recommend doing that, you know, because if there's enemies around hiding somewhere or laying prone, you won't get taken out easily. And we capture it there and look. Boom! That's how we do it. Boy, this is our flag. Where is he going? Tell me. Where is he going? Now, my Uber driver is taking me on a journey here. Let me see. Hopefully, it's not the long way around. And um, I'm always checking with my cannon as well, my machine gun. Always checking the skies as well, because you know there's planes to use, there's bombers, there's different type of vehicles, and there's a lot of snipers in this game. So we're going to take this flag, watch. Tagging him up. Wow. Is this guy on steroids or something? How is he taking so much shots? Damn, boy. So he's trying to hide from me, but he can't hide from the captain, because you're going to get mashed up either way. And he gets run over as well by the vehicle. And we're just backing up now. We're just backing up to capture the flag. You know, nice and easy. That's how we do it over here. And um, But you always want to be careful though. Because there can be people hiding everywhere. And you know, you can easily get taken out by a group of them. So you can see we're capturing the G flag. And you can look at the top middle. You see it moving there? That's how it indicates that you're capturing it as well. And um, you can see the time above it as well and the points. So of course our flag goes up and theirs come down. And we move away. I just bust some shots at that plane. Come on. Come on driver, let's go. So I mean that's the thing about Battlefield as well. You gotta look everywhere. In the skies, on the ground, in cracks for the snipers. Everywhere, in the bushes. And a good way of spotting the snipers is... When you're looking around, you can see the light reflecting off their scopes. So it's going to give a distinct reflection, just like a mirror in the sun. So what are my thoughts so far on the game? I've played a few games now after this gameplay. And so far, I think it's actually been pretty fun. However, of course, it's a beta. And I need to fix some things about it. The partying up system could be better. It could be more intuitive. And, uh, you know, make that easier for people. Because that, that's important. When people play Battlefield, they want to team up with their friends, they want to squad up. As for the lag, I can't really comment on that at the moment because their servers are being overloaded. There's all kind of rumors going about and they even made an official statement as well. So I think it would only be fair to judge a connection once the full game releases and you actually play it consistently. Now the guns itself has a fair bit of recoil, which I don't mind, you know, it takes some skill to use. And the iron sights are not that great actually. Some of them are downright ugly in fact. So when the full game releases, hopefully there's going to be a better selection of guns with better looking iron sights. Because the iron sights, seriously, some of them, when you guys play it, some of the iron sights are horrendous. But I guess it matches the time of when the game takes place, the era. I do believe the support class should be buffed. Like at least give them C4. Give the support class C4 so it can help take out these armored vehicles because at the moment in the beta right now the armored vehicles rule it's very difficult to take them out unless you team up with a squad and look at this guy get blasted boy why are you sitting there chilling watching overlooking the flag come on i shoot a horse up as well anyone want some horse meat so you can see the potential of the vehicles if you have a good driver and a good gunner as well so of course they want to balance that a bit and give the soldiers a chance to you know fight back against the armored vehicles. If you want to drop high keys in this game and you care about stats in this game then you just hop in a vehicle and um, have a good driver as well so that's how it works at the moment. There's nothing wrong with the armored vehicles being good though. I hope they don't nerf it. You know the vehicles are meant to be good, it's meant to be powerful and it's meant to put some fright into the enemies. Just like when I pull up my purifier and there's snipers around. Battlefield is about making use of everything around you. So if there's an armored vehicle around you, you hop in it and destroy enemy foot soldiers on the ground in the vicinity. So I come out in the middle here and I just blast in these soldiers. And the driver just marshes the accelerator. I'm going around them, I'm looking for them, I'm searching for them with my turret here. 
I got a nice angle. I got a nice view. We're trying to get this D flag, this Delta flag. And you gotta play the objective in Battlefield, especially Conquest. You really need to play the objective. That's how you win games. And you want that win. The win is the most important. As I always say, and look, boom. See how powerful this is? So the next time you're playing the beta, hop in a vehicle with a friend. I mean, I don't know this driver. This, this is a random driver here. So next time you're playing, hop in a vehicle and have some fun with it. You know, make use of the vehicles. And these guys again dropped left and right. They think they can come at me, but nah, I'm here to take over as well. And you can see they really can't do anything about it, you know? What can they do? If they made a conscious effort in a group to attack the vehicle though, they can easily take it out. It's not a problem. This game rewards teamwork. It definitely does reward teamwork. You can't really do well by yourself in this game. Although I know I'm playing solo here, but you can see I've got a random driver with me. And we're working together very nicely in sync. But um, if you're playing by yourself and you're playing selfishly, you won't do well in this game. So always, you know, team up if you get a chance or work together with the random players, you know, drop health packs, drop ammo packs, revive them, and you get points for doing that as well. So, but you know, I'm always giving you guys the best strategies and tactics. So for this point at the moment in the beta, the vehicles are what you need to use. The vehicles are key. They will help you, they will increase your stats. They will make you have fun as well, it's a lot of fun. And look at Captain Shock being a madman. I run up on tanks all the time. And I'm dropping these grenades right next to the tank. Come on boy, let me damage that vehicle up a bit. So watch, watch, watch. She comes out, she comes after me, boom. Get dropped boy, don't come after me, what's wrong with you? Coming after me like that. And I'll take your mechanic out as well. That's how we do it up here. I'm telling you, I'm taking things over. And I jacked their tank as well. What they're gonna do about it, tell me. It's moments like that why I enjoy playing Battlefield. You know, you can only have these kind of experiences playing this kind of game. So now I got this tank, I'm driving around, ensuring everything's safe. And my teammates are cool. And look at that, Bonanza runs right across me. So, going up now, trying to locate some enemies with the tank. I got a nice turret to blast them with. And the horses are actually quite fun to use as well. Especially when you change to your sword, you press triangle, it switches to the sword. But remember, you kill them from the right hand side of the horse. Only the right hand side. You can't kill them from the left side. So try to navigate with the horse with that in mind. And straight on to the flag. Because, you know, we play the OBJ up in here. And why does the announcer call the B flag butter? Come on, boy, it's not butter. It's Bravo, <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. So my tank is on fire now. You know, it's so hot up in here. Another thing about the vehicles, you can actually repair some of it inside, so you don't even have to get out of the vehicles. I think that should be fixed though. You should have to get out of the vehicle to repair it. You should not be able to stay inside and repair the vehicle. That's kind of, you know, overpowered. If you're not using a vehicle or you can't get a vehicle, then my advice to you is stick to the places where there's a lot of buildings. Because there's always going to be snipers inside those buildings. There's always going to be campers. So take them out. And just protect the flag you're in. The area you're in. Protect the flag. Peek it. And just move around in that vicinity. Keep checking all of the buildings. You know. And be evasive. And the game is coming to an end very soon. So we just want to ensure. Because look at the points. You see that point difference? It's actually pretty close. Don't let that fool you. And um, so always be pushing. Always be capturing those flags. Because you can easily make a, com a comeback here. And look at him. Look at him. Go on that horse boy. And I'm checking for any snipers ahead as well. Because I thought I saw one. And you see me switch gunners and boom. Dead. See? Looking at me. He's all staring at me with his big eyes. And I blasted him straight with that turret there. So don't be afraid to switch positions in the seat as well. And this weapon is actually pretty powerful. So... Take full advantage of it when you're in this tank. And I get out the tank now and I'm searching for him. Boom. Don't run up on me like that, seriously. And we get the victory. That's how we do it. 5 KD, second game, top of the leaderboards. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a like if you want to see more Battlefield videos in the future. Please share the video if you want to see me grow. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care guys. Bye. 20,000 score. Look at that. Damn.